So today we're with Sean Ingman, who is a real estate agent, a realtor, with Colwell Banker in the Bay Area. Sean, it's so great to have you here. Oh, glad to be down here. Uh, you uh, and I have known each other in past days because of our the wonderful Blogtronics. Kind of give me a little bit of your growing up. Did you grow up in the Bay Area? Yeah, I was born and raised in San Francisco, lived there throughout the city pretty much my entire life. In Dif the city itself? In the city, different neighborhoods, you wow. know. I grew up, uh, you know, in one place and then I went to college. I was in, at UC Davis for a couple of years, but when I came back, um, you know, I was living in the Richmond district and moved down, you know, by the ballpark, Petrero Hill, you know, back to Ocean Avenue and then um, met my wife and you know, she's a coast resident and uh, was born in Pacifica and moved down to El Granada. So uh, moved down there, bought a house in Montera, and uh, now I call the coast my home. So what did you study in college? I was, uh, you know, actually a political science major in college. Um, you know, I, I just I was thinking about doing a law school. I was, you know, huh. doing business stuff on the side. I was mainly, you know, into sports. So, you know, I played baseball, um, you know, got into coaching baseball for At a UC long time. At UC Davis? Yeah, I, 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 never, I never played collegiately. I played in, on some semi-pro teams, you know, in, in the area. And, um, you know, I had a shoulder injury, which really prevented me from, you know, doing really what I wanted to do there. You know, but I was always involved with sports, with baseball. I, I coached high school from a very young age wow. and officiated basketball. You know, I still do officiate basketball at the high school level. I refereed at the small college level for, you know, several years in my 20s, um, you know, and, you know, still like doing that just to kind of give back and stay involved in sports. Uh, you love the Bay Area, am I right? I love the Bay Area um, for a lot of the reasons of, that you mentioned, the natural beauty. You know, you're, you know, like today I'm down here with you in Monterey. I'm going to drive up the coast. Uh, it's a half moon bay and it's going to be at sunset. It's going to be just a beautiful, relaxing drive. You know, those are a lot of the things that I love about the Bay Area. There are other things like San Francisco. I couldn't live in San Francisco right now myself anymore you know because I've, I've gotten to an age where you know i have a family and you know i'm worried about kind of you know some of the issues that have happened in san francisco with regard to that but if i'm younger you know and my job is kind of right there san francisco remains vibrant it's a great place to live and there's still my parents still live there so i'm there all the time visiting them um you know it's san francisco for some of its faults and some of its changes, it's still a great place for a lot of people to live, especially if you're younger. It's always fun to go there. Yeah, you know, it's always fun to it's always fun to go there. Yeah. So so and but you, what's interesting is that having grown up there, you know every inch of the place. I mean, you've been when they talk about one area of the Bay Area, you, you've been there. Yeah, I mean, you especially know. as a basketball referee too. Um, you know, I, you know, particularly on the peninsula, which is where I did most of my refereeing at the high school level, I did San Francisco all the way, you know, to Morgan Hill. Uh, so I know the different schools, you know, the high schools, I, you know, I, I know the neighborhoods, I know the areas, wow. um, just from that, from, from, from that experience, um, you know, just get a sense of how the schools are, how well run they are. You know, and I think that's an advantage that helps me uh, in real estate and, you know, just getting a sense of the different neighborhoods because the Bay Area is a huge place. A lot yeah. of people, not a ton of inventory, but, but uh, you know, it's a big, it's a big place. And, and there's a lot of, a lot of, you know, just, you know, difference from one place to another that it's hard to find in a lot of other places around the country. 